everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we're going to learn all about angular pipes. So now imagine if you could change the way certain information looked on the screen. This could be with respect to styling, size or even format. You could do this with the help of pipes. Now angular pipes allow its users to change the format in which data is being displayed on the screen. We learn about this topic in detail. So, but before beginning, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. Alright, so here's what's in store for you. So, we'll see what exactly angular pipes are. Then we'll understand how to use built-in pipes in angular. Then we'll create some custom pipes. And finally, we'll understand what pure and impure pipes are. So, let's begin. What are angular pipes? Now, as mentioned earlier, Pipes transform data. You can think of this as makeup rooms where you can beautify the data into a more desirable format. They also do not alter the data but change how they appear. So pipes are simple functions that accept an input value, process and return a transformed value. Angular supports several built-in pipes. We'll learn about them in the coming section. However, you can also create custom pipes. Some key features of pipes include the following. That is, pipes are defined using the pipe symbol. Pipes can be chained with other pipes. And lastly, pipes can be provided with arguments by using the colon sign. So moving on, let's see how built-in pipes in Angular work. Now Angular provides several built-in pipes to beautify the data being shown on the user interface. Now you can see we have the date pipe, which formats a date value. We have the uppercase pipe that transforms text to uppercase the lowercase pipe that transforms text to lowercase. We have the currency pipe. We have the decimal pipe that transforms a number into a string with a decimal point. And then we have the person pipe that transforms a number to a percentage string. Now let's see how these built-in pipes are used in Angular. So for that, let's head to our editor that is VS Code. So here I've created a folder for pipes and then created a component called pipes again. And inside the pipes.component.ts file, I'm creating two properties for date and name, all right? So here, let's just create them saying date today string, so type string, then we have a name again of type string, all right? And within this, I'm going to say this dot date today equals new date dot to date string all right and then i'm going to say this dot name equals simply learn so here the date today property will hold today's date all right, and according to our requirements, we can change the way it is displayed on the UI. So for that, let's go to the component.html file. And here, let me just display h1 date, which is basically today's date. And I'm going to be interpolating the property here, date today. And I'm just going to display the date in its normal format. Next thing, I'm going to do date pipe. Using the date pipe, I can say date today. Date in uppercase. All right. And then another way I can display it is I can say date pipe date today date in short you'll see this in the output and then I can say lowercase and then finally for name I can just say name I'm just going to display them in uppercase and I'm going to slice it so let's say name, uppercase, all right, and then I'm going to say name, 
and I'm going to slice it so six all right so now let's save this and have a look at our browser now here you can see that date has been displayed in the normal format first and then in the uppercase and you can see that it does not display the day of the week and finally when you use the short pipe it makes sure that it's displayed in this format and finally name is displayed in uppercase and when I slice it it is displayed from the sixth character all right so that is how you make use of built-in pipes so moving on next up let's have a look at creating custom pipes now angular pipes are typescript classes with the at pipe decorator so the decorator has a name property in its metadata that specifies the pipe and how it is used all right so the general steps that you need to take to create custom pipes include first you have to create a typescript class with an export keyword then you can decorate it with the at pipe decorator and pass the name property to it then you have to implement the pipe transform interface in the class next up they have to return the transform data with the pipe and lastly we have to add this pipe class to the declarations area of the module where you want to use it so alternatively you can use a simple command that is ng pipe and name of the pipe once you run the command two files are created one is the spec.ts file and one is the .ts file all right so now let's have a look at the editor and see how to create these custom pipes so here i'm creating a pipe so let's say ng g pipe and the name i'm giving is custom pipe yeah all right so you can see two uh, files have been created we have the spec.ts and the .ts file so now here in our uh, custom pipe dot ts file i'm just going to create my own custom pipe you can see that the pipe transform interface has been added here and then the transform uh, method is used to transform the data right so what i'm going to be doing is i'll write the code to reverse a string okay so uh, for that i'll write down the code here so within my pipe transform interface i'm going to first create a value which is going to be the n value which is basically the transformed value and it is initialized to string all right and then we have the transform method i'm just going to change unknown to any now what i'm going to be doing is this dot n value equals value dot i'm going to make use of the split method and then I'm going to make use of the reverse method and finally I'm going to join it. All right. And then I'm just going to return this dot n value. And back in my component.html file, I'll just say h one again i'll say the reverse of simply learn is let's say simply learn and then pass the custom pipe all right so basically it has to display the reverse of the string simply learn so let's save this and have a look at the browser all right here we go so the reverse of the string is being displayed on the screen. So this is how you can make use of custom pipes. You can create pipes according to your requirements. Uh, remember that it does not change the, the data at all. It only displays it in a different format altogether. All right. So now moving on, let's have a look at pure and impure pipes. Now pipes in Angular are classified into pure and impure pipes. All right. Now pure pipes use pure functions. As a result of this, the pipe doesn't use any internal state and the output of the pipe remains the same as long as the parameters remain the same. Okay, so Angular calls the pipe only when it detects a change in the parameters that are being passed. And a single instance of the pure pipe is used throughout all the components. Talking about impure pipes, an impure pipe is called for every change detection cycle in the input fields. Multiple pipe instances are created for these pipes. Now, inputs passed to these pipes can be mutable. 
and by default all pipes are pure pipes however you can specify impure pipes using the pure property all right so let me just show that to you back in our pipe.ts file here you can always specify if it is pure or impure so just say pure you can set it to true or false so when you say true it means it's a pure pipe and if it's false then it's an impure pipe by default all the pipes that you create are pure pipes so with that we come to the end of this session if you have any doubts or queries regarding this topic let us know in the comment section below so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and watch out for more videos from us until then keep learning and stay tuned to simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.